Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss a file class. Now, this file class is basically used for representing files, directory path names in an abstract manner. That means if you want to access the properties of the files, we can use the file class. Now, this is basically used for searching the files, searching the directories, file deletion and various other operations. Now, this file object represents actual file. That means the file stored on to our disk. So, to access those files, I am not talking of reading or writing. They just represent the metadata of the file. So, performing certain operations like searching, deleting the files. So, that can be done using this file class. So, the constructors for this file class are, the first one is file with the string path name. So, file with full path name is to be provided as a string argument to this file constructor. Another is a file constructor with two parameters. Both are string. The first is parent and second is child. So, it creates a new file from the parent path name string and a child path name. That means the parent path is to be provided and the child is the file itself which is to be provided. So, separately, a complete absolute path can also be provided and relative path with file name can also be provided. And the last overloaded constructor is file with the parameter of object URI. URI stands for Uniform Resource Indicator. Now, it is similar to URL. Uniform Resource Locator. This is indicator. That means it is pointing to a specific object. It's not like locator. It does not locate. So, URI is used for indicating the resource uniformly. So URI, the object of URI class is provided as an argument to the file class constructor. So it creates a new file instance by converting the given file to URI into an abstract path name. Now let's see a program. Now let's see various methods of file class, which is a, a class available. So let's see that. So class file demo, public static void main. We are making an object of the file class file f1 equals to new file with the file name file demo.java so in this case this the where we'll be storing this file same file we are using making an object of that file so file f1 equals to new file demo.java now if you want to have the name of the file so for that we are having method get name of the file class so it is an instance method so f1.get name will return you the name of the file then we are having another method get path so it will return the path of the file so where it is stored onto the disk so get path method will return you the path then we are having get absolute path a complete path till the file would be written in this particular method by getting get absolute path then we are having get parent so it will return the parent of the file so it will return you the parent of the file which will give the actual root directory of that file then we can check whether file exists or not so if we are having this file demo.java whether it is available onto the disk or not that can also be checked at this particular path so f1.exist it will return you boolean value true or false if true then it will display exist if false then it will display does not exist now over here file demo.java now this file over here we have not provided absolute path that means this program and the file should be located in the same folder so in that case it will return the folder path in all these cases then f1 can write that means is this file read only can it be written so there is a method which returns the boolean value can write so whether it is writable file or not the next method is can read that means is it a readable file or not another is f1 dot is directory this is the method f1 dot is directory it checks whether the file name provided into the constructor of file is directory or not then is it a normal file or a named pipe that means named pipe main can be a system file so f1 is file that also returns boolean value then f1 is absolute that means is it an absolute file or not so these are various methods like same way last modified date of the file can be obtained by using last modified and the last method f1.length that means the bytes of the file length of the file will return you the bytes so the file size can be obtained by using the method length so this is the output of the program 
file name file demo java path file demo java because it is provided in over here absolute path where it is located so as you can see it is located at this path then parent no there is no parent over here does this file exist yes it exists is it writable is it readable yes both are it is readable as well as writable is it a directory no it is not a directory is it a normal file or named pipe no it is a normal file is it absolute no it is not absolute and last modified it is the date given in the it's in its unique the date given is in the form of seconds so over here it can be converted to a regular date and the file size so it consists of 951 bytes so this is the file class let's have the list of the methods these are the methods of file class as you can see is absolute get absolute path can read can write exist is directory is file last modified length delete list so these are the various methods of the file class which can be used for different purposes so this file class can be used along with our streams like character stream byte stream and we can have the various applications to build that's it this is all about io thank you